All right, so I am back, and today we are going to be taking a look at um, the Hinkei version of Classics Mirage. Uh, I don't have the original Classics Mirage to compare the two, but uh, his differences are pretty apparent um, if you're familiar with that mold. Let me try and get these lights away from him a little bit. That's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> He's a very white figure, so unfortunately... We're just going to have to deal with it. Um, so he's got uh, chrome for his feet here and a chrome on his gun. Uh, his blue is a much darker, richer blue than the um, the classics. Um, paint apps are much more crisp and clean, um, and there's more of them. Um, and just overall, it's a, it's a just a better figure. Um, so... If you guys are sitting there debating on whether to get the Classics or the Henke, um, the Henke is about the same price as the Hen Classics now. Um, and th there's really no question on which one's better. Uh, so, so yeah, he's, he's really awesome. I really dig this figure. Um, we've already looked at Mirage, so we're going to go through this pretty quick. Uh, head is on a ball joint. Uh, it's also on a stem, so it kind of goes up and down, looks around. Uh, arms are on ball joints, so good range of motion there. It's also on a hinge in there, too, so it can kind of move back. Uh, there is a bicep swivel, double bend elbows. Uh, hand can rotate in, and that's really all it does, and that's more for transformation. The waist rotates, hips are on ball joints. Uh, bends at the knee, uh, and then he does kind of have that extra bend there for transformation, but you can kind of use that for posability too, uh, if you wanted. Um, he's a very well-balanced figure, as you can see. And the foot is on a ball joint, and there's also a hinge right there as well. So, he's, he's really cool. I really dig this. Um, and like, like I said, he comes with this little gun here. Um, this particular figure I got on eBay and he came with a, um, I think this is the TFC, uh, Gears of War blaster, um, rocket launcher. Um, I can't quite get that to work right. Uh, this is what, another reason why I hate missile launchers. I mean, you get that spring stuck and it's, it's ruined, but, uh, at least it holds here pretty well um, and you can take this and you can plug it into his hand if you want to um, it doesn't fit very well there you go you can plug that into his hand if you want to but I don't know why you'd want to because this is supposed to be um, you take this uh, there's a little wedge right there and you can just plug it in on that middle spoke there and now he's got a shoulder cannon like he did in the G1 cartoon so yeah works pretty well um, so transforming him real quick uh, you flip the hands in uh, flip this assembly all the way up like so then this will rotate up like that then you can take the uh, legs here, rotate this around. These will double hinge up and kind of clo close up on themselves, like so. And then they just clip together. Like so. Then you can take these uh, tail fin things and they just clip together. So, and like this, there go, then you take this piece here and it will rotate in, like this, and then this piece will rotate around and just kind of slide into place. Uh, he's kind of a fidgety little guy, um, not nowhere near complicated by any means but once you get them you just kind of start squeezing things and it all kind of lines up and then you take the uh, fin here there's a little square peg right there 
and I'll plug right underneath here and then there you go and yeah <laughs> pretty awesome um, rolls very well as you can see um, it's, it's just all around a great mold for this character um, you know I, I, I had the uh, fracture version of the mold I have uh, somewhere I have the drag strip version of the mold uh, I had the classics and I was extremely happy with this with that and now I have the Hinke and I'm extremely happy with that um, it, it's just an overall great mold for a great character this this just it works on so many levels um, and then transform him back flip that out uh, rotate the legs down like so split the arms from back here these will just come up rotate the waist around this will fold down and this will fold down and like so and then you flip the hands out and you take this and then again it just on this little spoke here you just kind of plug it on it's not the greatest fit in the world, but it works pretty well. Let's see, let's try the bottom one. No, it's the middle one. You want the middle one. And there you go. Um, really awesome figure. Uh, I know this was a quick review, but um, let's do size comparisons. Um, so here he is next to the uh, classic Seeker mold. Uh, he's just a little taller than him. Um, not the best scale, really. Um, but it, it works well enough. Uh, here he is next to the Generations Brainstorm, which, as I said before, is the same exact size as the Eye Gear Seeker. So this will get you a good idea of what those would scale with. And you see he just comes up to about mid-chest here. So, the scale works pretty well, I think. Uh, here he is with an MP car. And this does not work at all. Um, there's options for an MP Mirage out there now and more along the way. So, if you're looking for a Masterpiece Mirage, this isn't a very good fit. And last but not least... Here he is with the Springer, and I think this mold or this scale works pretty well. So, uh, yeah, all in all, uh, it's it's a great mold. Um, if you're a classics collector, uh, this is the way to go. Um, rumor is is that they're going to be doing another uh, Mirage this year, probably a repaint uh, and maybe retool of the uh, Combiner Wars drag strip. Um, and quite honestly, you know, if they do, uh, I'll, I'll probably pick it up just for one more combiner figure. But for the most part, though, this this is going to be my classics Mirage. There There is no better version of Mirage out there when it comes to the classics. This guy just takes the cake 100%. No questions about it. He's he's a little lanky, but that's I'm okay with that. Um, I think he, he pulls this off really well. Um, and all in all, the Henke version, uh, I'm going to give this whole figure a 9 out of 10. Uh, I, I think he's just, just about a perfect figure for the Classics line. Um, just about one of the best that Classics has to offer. So, so yeah, uh, there you go. Henke Mirage. <laughs>